After Jesus again referenced his coming death and honored Mary for her faithful act, he finished his meal with his friends. He then did something rather strange. He instructed two of his disciples to go ahead to the next village, Bethphage, and find a donkey. The ancient village of Bethphage is now a part of Jerusalem, but at the time of Jesus, it would have been a separate village between Bethany and Jerusalem. The Gospel text reads, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord needs them, and he will send them at once. Matthew 21, 2 and 3. I'm here at the Church of Bethphage, a Franciscan church located here on the Mount of Olives. Now, this present-day church was built in 1883 over the foundation of a 12th century chapel, which itself was built over the foundation of a 4th century Byzantine shrine. Now, the Church of Bethphage is the location associated with the spot where Jesus mounted a donkey and began his procession into the city of Jerusalem. Now imagine the scene. A large crowd of Passover visitors already had heard that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. By now, many of them had heard that Jesus had raised Lazarus from the dead, and they wanted to see Jesus in person. Many no doubt saw this as a sign of Jesus' identity as the Messiah, and they wanted to proclaim him as king when he entered Jerusalem. When Jesus arrived here at Bethphage, just beyond the city of Jerusalem, he got onto a donkey to ride the rest of the way. In this way, he fulfilled an ancient prophecy from hundreds of years earlier. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. Righteous and having salvation is he, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. Zechariah 9.9 9. When he did this, the crowds surged to greet Jesus, marking the beginning of the event known as the triumphal entry.